Okay, let me start by saying that there are two types of people I've noticed. The first type are those type of people who sit back and wait for things to happen. Or they get complacent and they sit back and do nothing, basically. They will get negative and complain about their situation, but not really do anything about it or work on themselves to get out of it. And secondly, there are those types who get up and they make things happen. They get proactive about things in their lives. They get, they get excited and amped up and revved up and they charge forward in life. For some reason, people th still think that sitting around doing the exact things that they've been doing for years is going to sooner or later produce some type of results. I see that in the, the success community, you know, people on the internet marketers, in other words, they, they sit back, and they do nothing. They just sit there hoping that one day, I guess they'll, they'll write, read the right ebook and discover success. I see that also in this game, people sit back and just read tons of ebooks over and over again. And if you're, if you're the type of person who's been collecting ebooks for years and you've, you have found that that isn't enough motivation for you to wake up and take control of your situation, then you probably just want to just get yourself a life coach because I can't help you. Okay. I'm here to build real men, real men, not men that will sit back and pray to God or pray to some deity to bring a woman into their lives and something like that. I'm here to build men who are proactive about their lives and go out there and get it and go for what's theirs. So this V blog, it's not a, it's not the site for people who just want to sit back and well wish something into their lives or get all negative about it and complain. This V blog is about being proactive in your life. It's about the struggle of man. Okay. And if you're afraid to struggle or, and get sweat going, then you're probably in the wrong house, fellas. If you want to continue, then you better be ready to roll up your sleeves and get to work. As, I, as was stated in the last video by that uh, pimp dude, uh, one of the viewers was talking to, real players are not on the ethernet, which means the internet. Real players are out there doing it. So if you've been, if you're listening to me, then as I said before, many times, and you got some issues going on, you're, there's something going on in your game. That's why you're on the internet looking for solutions. So you haven't mastered that, that portion of your life yet. Now, I talk about, or I've talked about the chakra system. I better turn my glass down so I don't glare you guys out. I'll get that problem solved. These are my readers that I uh, use to read the screen so I can see everything clearly. But anyway, I've talked about the chakra system. You can Google it yourself. Chakra, C-H-A-K-R-A, I believe. And how your life is set up in the first chakra, then the second chakra, third chakra. Your life seems to run that way. First chakra is all about establishing your life you know, that's where you're born and you raise yourself to maturity. Uh, when you start to um, develop your sexuality, you get into the second chakra. And most of you guys are stuck here, okay? You haven't gone past this because you haven't learned to conquer your sexual side. You haven't learned to, to attract women into your lives because that's what that's about. So the third chakra is about establishing your personal power. So we got one, two, three. Third is about establishing your personal power out. That's where you learn to exert your influence. You learn to, to start conquering your environment. The fourth chakra is, is about your heart. Okay. Um, that's where you learn to, to follow things you love. You learn to become a about your heart. You, you ex learn to express real love. Uh, you learn to, to follow your, your passions. You begin to start following your passions. And that's one of the problems I've, I believe is why a lot of people who are stuck in the second chakra, they don't like, I just did a show on a fellow who said he was wanted to look for his purpose now. And he said he didn't believe it before when I was talking about this. 
and he's been on my site for about a year, a little bit over a year, and I've talked about it so many times in this last year. I've talked about it since I've been doing this show, and I've been doing my shows, uh, my shows on my site, rather words, I think about six years now, going on seven years. So I've done a lot of podcast shows. I have over 10 gigabytes of shows out there. If you look at each one being about uh, 30 megabytes, that's a lot of a lot of shows. So, and I think the reason why is because he's stuck at his second chakra. I could I could look at his post and tell he's stuck there. He hasn't learned to to solve that whole equation that's going on there and master it. Like the majority of you fellas, you're stuck there. Okay, so the next chakra above that is your vocal chakra in the throat area. And chakras, all they are is where energy coalesces in the body. Okay, call them stress points. You know, like your spinal cord absorbs stress, but if, if you break one, it bends, it breaks, breaks the energy. Okay, so your throat chakra, you learn to speak your truth. And then it goes up to the third eye and then spiritual. Well, the majority of fellows are stuck in that second one, as I said, and that's why you're not experiencing the kind of success you want in your life. Okay. Energy flows up the body from the first one to the second. And if you're stuck at the second one, the rest of your energetic uh, energy that should be flowing up gets diminished. And I've seen that, on chakra tests out there, guys who have negative heart. The one fellow I just talked to on Skype, his heart chakra on those little tests came out in the negative, like negative 65 or something like that. Okay, and that and the reason because the energy is not flowing clearly. You want a nice balance of energy going up through your body. I know I'm talking over some of you guys' heads, and some of you guys are um, uh, left brain, and you don't believe in that kind of stuff, and that's okay. You can believe in what you want to believe. But if you have the ability to think outside the box, you might actually investigate this stuff. You know, do a little research while you're surfing this uh, YouTube shit, you know, looking at video after video. Instead, do some, some real research. You might learn something. And having some little bit of knowledge is a good thing. That's why I like to pump out the African history knowledge, because that's what I'm into. If I was into sci science fiction, I'd talk about the latest sci-fi books I read or something like that. But I'm into this. And that's why I share it with you guys, because it's additional knowledge you can add to your plate. So in looking at the whole system, the reason why, like some of you guys get your voice all tied up, it's because you're still stuck at chakra number two. You can't speak well. You can tell that I'm beyond, way beyond those, because I, I, I'm doing this show. And I don't have any notes here. I'm doing this, my shows off the top of my head. Okay? So I've learned to speak. And... If I was asked to rate myself, as I said in a previous show, I've learned to see clearly, so I've got the third eye, but I'm not spiritual. Not all the way spiritual yet. So I'm, I'm past the vocal, I'm into the, the um, third eye chakra, going into it. Because I can, I can see the truth of what people are writing me, I can see I can see the life for what it really is, the matrix as you want to call it. And in seeing that, I can see what needs to be done. That's why I'm doing these shows, trying to make a difference out there. In your life, you want to solve that second chakra, my friends. You want to be able to handle your sexuality and be able to attract women to you. Then you want to go on to be able to handle you and exert your personal power over your environment. Then you learn to come from your heart. Then you learn to speak your truth. Then you learn to see the truth. Okay? And then you become spiritual, which is your eventual goal. But you won't get there if you're stuck in that second level, fellas. So you've got to get this shit handled. And it's not rocket science. You've got to learn to tune in and, and pay attention to what your body's telling you. And your body will find the right woman for you once you get out of this noggin up here, okay? The right women will come, but you gotta stop blocking yourself. Like one fella I was talking to on Skype, one of my consultations, 
he's and he stands in his own way. That means he gets out and literally stands in his own way. He blocks his own success, his own flow. And it's very unfortunate that uh, many people do that. And this is a this fellow. He's a good-looking lad, and um, he has a lot of potential for the game. But because of that other stuff that I talked about earlier, the white supremacy stuff that's going on, he's all jacked up. So it's unfortunate, but that this kind of stuff has to go on out there in the world. We can't just be human beings on the planet. I really do think it will take something from the outside the planet to threaten us for us all to come together. I think there was one of the presidents said that also. Uh, I believe it was um, Reagan. Yeah, Reagan said something to that effect. I believe that was him. But anyway, I wish you guys well. I am going on vacation. And I won't be doing shows uh, for a little bit unless I get some spare board moments. So my first stop is Reno tonight. And then I'm going to Rachel, Nevada to stop at the at whole Area 51 stuff that's up there. Not at the Area 51, but at the uh, little town where they have all the souvenir stuff. Because I've always wanted to go there. It's a, it's a tourist attraction. And um, like I've done the Burning Man thing, you know, twice. So this is my one of my next things on my bucket list. And then I'm going to uh, Las Vegas for a day. And then in my in Las Vegas, uh, send me a message on here. I'll see if I can make time to uh, hook up for coffee or something. Uh, after Las Vegas, I'm, I'll be in Sedona. And that's where my plans are right now. Hit Sedona. Then I need to travel around for a while because I'm looking at property out there. All right, fellas. Peace.